at orlandomagic.com. Aaron, without looking at the film, what were your initial impressions of, of this game? You, you know, what what do you think was the key reason you guys came up short? Uh, I just thought it was one-on-one -on -one defense. You know, I think um, to a man, um, they were just we weren't getting stops. You know, we gotta we gotta stop. Um, just man, mano y mano. You know, one on one, you gotta be able to stop your man. Because if you're not doing that, then all night long they're for, forcing help, and then when you're forcing help, they're kicking it all over the floor, and now we're just in, in rotation all over the floor. So uh, it's just one on one defense, and that's just come down to pride, um, technique. Uh, energy and effort, you know, so there's a couple of things that we clean up right away. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. So, excuse me. Also, we need to make shots when we're open as well. We missed a lot of open shots. And, um, you know, some nights they don't go in, but, you know, that's on us. You know, um, that's on us to uh, make sure that we're ready to play and that our games are in rhythm. And, um, uh, we're able to knock down shots when we're open. Aaron, you uh, anticipated my my question, uh, which I'm going to change to: uh, How frustrating was it to have for the team as a whole to have some pretty good looks at the basket and just not see them fall? Uh, it's frustrating, but uh, you know our shots are going to start falling. Uh, we're just going to continue to put work in. They're going to start going down, and once we start knocking down shots. Uh, be a tough team to beat. Dan Savage. Aaron, how much was Vooch a safety valve for you guys? It seemed, you know, when you did hit some tough offensive spurts, uh, both he and, and Terrence Ross were, were able to, to, to lift you guys up a little bit. Oh, man. I mean, uh, Vooch is, uh, is great. You know, he's a great ball player. Uh, being able to go to, down to him in the low post, uh, really, he can score from three levels. So, uh, going to him um, from the three it makes him a threat. Uh, down on the block makes him a threat, and then that mid range makes him a threat as well. So, you know, we rely heavily on Vooch and uh, T Ross as well. You know, coming off the bench and giving us that spark and really putting up numbers. Um, you know, we got we need guys stepping up with them. Josh Robbins, Aaron, you seem to be moving pretty well tonight. To what degree is the hamstring injury you suffered? in the bubble still bothering you? Uh, it lingered. It definitely is lingering. Um, but tonight is probably the, the best I felt um, with my hamstring since that time in the bubble. Um, so hopefully I can get off a of minute restriction now. How difficult, Aaron, is it to balance trying to let it heal fully and possibly aggravating it? It's difficult, you know. My motor is uh, is high, my motor is very high. So um, it's just getting my body up to speed with my nervous system is what they're telling me. So uh, my mind is ready to go. My body's lagging a little bit, but uh, I feel good now. I feel better, and I think uh, I'll be healthy uh, by next game. Dan Savage. Aaron, with the lack of practice time, you know, how challenging is it when a few guys go down uh, to, to quickly make adjustments and, and get groupings comfortable with each other uh, on the court? Um, I mean, we're professionals, you know, so it's always a next man up mentality. Uh, we played with each other for enough time now to know where we're supposed to be and what we're supposed to do. Uh, so I don't take that as any type of excuse. Uh, obviously, we missed Evans perimeter shooting. Uh, and we can't wait to get him back. Final questions for Aaron. Thank you.